What's the matter? Are you flipping out? Okay. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat in the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Again? So... I don't know what to do with these cucumbers here. I think what I want to do is make zucchini chips out of them. So maybe I'll show some of the highlights of doing that. I have here one, two, three, four big zucchinis. So give it a shot. I've located the mandolin slicer. This thing is dangerous. What I need to do is go watch my old video I made on YouTube on the raw food trip. I need to go watch that video that I made about it so I can just see if I've forgotten anything about the process. So anyway, I couldn't find a video. I didn't make a video apparently about zucchini chips. So. As you may see here, there's settings, and I can't remember the settings I used to use on things. So I guess I'm going to err on the side of bigness and go one fourth inch. So I'm going to chop. And maybe go to about here. Give it like this much. These spikes go into the thing, but we'll just push it in. So it's like that. I decided to change my setting to the yellow marker on here. This is the OXO mandolin table slicer. And yellow is 3 16 of an inch or 4.5 millimeters. Anyway, let me get started. Wow, it gets it right down to the last slice. There's nothing on there. And I'm going to soak some zucchini in it. I might do a few of these bananas because uh, they're looking pretty ripe, and I don't think I can get through them in time for them to die. Big slices. None of this is gonna work. It's an experiment. Just killing time in a fun way. Hold your hands, Dave. I walked in here and she was clapping. <laughs> I caught her clapping and then she stopped when I came in.
a little bit of paprika. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit of black peppercorn. Pepper. And now for the secret sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the closest thing I could find to like a basting brush. like watercolors they kind of spread out like when uh, paint hits water they spread out kind of like watercolors I found that this thing works better I don't know what it is I don't know why it is but it seems to spread this out a little bit better than the dalloper thingy So I kind of have this system now. I have the waiting plate, waiting to get into the vinegar to soak for five minutes. And then I take them from the vinegar, put them on here, season them, put them in there. And those are already dehydrating. So I don't know how this is all gonna go. We'll see. Okay, I wanna show you how this has evolved over time. I'm using this knife now to just really spread a thin layer of uh, Sweet Baby Ray's all over the surface. I've evolved from putting a timer on this. Five minute timer, I've been doing that. Now I haven't been doing it because this all takes about five minutes to season and put in there before I take those out and put them on there. Get, taking a baby bum break. I think the only problem with this method is that I don't have the foresight to know if this is all going to work and I'm making like a whole bag of chips or something. This zucchini isn't going to stick around because the bugs are getting at them and I do my best to get out there in the morning and and squish the bugs but so if I could go back, I would have put the, the the barbecue sauce on first and then sprinkled all the seasonings on it. You're probably like, duh, but you know, that's what I came to after the last, second to the last tray. And I'm out of barbecue sauce, so it's just gonna be straight seasoning for two trays. for the part I really don't want to do, the dishes.